Hello, in this video, we are going to see how we can format the number uh, in PHP so it will look uh, elegant on the user side of you. Okay, so in PHP or in general websites, sometimes we need to show some numbers like uh, uh, comma format. Like, suppose we need, we, we need to show something like one. To five double zero as this okay so uh, to do this in PHP what we need to do we can simply have a, a function that uh, format the number as we want with grouped with the number of thousands okay so for this for the demonstration purposes I take a number like this one and uh, to format this number, we can simply use the function number underscore format. This is the default PHP, fun PHP function that we can use to format this number. Okay. So, in this, what we need to do, we just simply provide the number as like this. So as you can see, this particular number is formatted as the group of group of thousands. So basically, after three characters, basically after three digits, there will be a comma. Okay, and after each and every three digits, there will be a comma. If I make the number a little bit larger, then you can see the perfect demonstration of this function like if I remove this function this represent as the normal one if I use this particular function this represent as the comma separated value after each of the thousand groups okay so with this function we are having some flexibility that uh, I am going to demonstrate to you right now okay so the first one is that we can have the number of decimal digits then we can have the number of digits after the decimal we can specify that in this function okay for this what we need to do we need to just provide the second argument with this function with the comma and with the second argument we can specify the number of digits after decimal we need to show to the end user okay suppose we need to show three decimal then we just simply type here three and if I run this particular code then you can see this is the number input given by us and after there will be a decimal and uh, after that there is three digits so if I make it uh, to five we can have the five zeros after this particular decimal okay and after that there is also two more parameters that we can used to modify this output like first we can choose this particular character that can be used as decimal okay and the other one the other parameter we need to change we can change is that we can control over this particular character that is comma that will be printed after the each group of thousands okay so let us check how we can do this we need to provide two more parameters here like first is for the uh, character for the decimal and the other is for the character for the group of thousands okay so what we need to understand is that we just uh, need to provide these two parameters uh, uh, we just need to provide all these four parameters or we can't uh, just have this particular three parameters we need to have four parameters if we need to uh, specify this both of the characters otherwise this will this will also work but uh, this will not work if we trying to use only three parameters okay so I hope uh, this is the very easy point and if we want to uh, control this particular character we can specify it here like suppose we need to have uh, this particular column after 
uh, in place of decimal digit we can specify it like here and if we want to control over this particular comma we can control it like from here so for the comma we specify the semicolon and for the decimal we specify the colon so if i click on run as you can see after the each group of thousands we have the semicolon and uh, on the decimal point we have the column as we specify that in the function so this is the proper demonstration of this working of this particular function so by default if we don't provide this characters it simply take the point as a decimal and comma as the separating value so the full the full syntax of this particular function is available on this particular wc school website you can have a look at this and if you still have any question just let me know in the comments i will be happy to help you thank you